All right, guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Monday. Hopefully, everybody is doing well. I hope you guys had a good Easter weekend. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and dive in. We got news coming here in about four minutes. Um, and just to do a little recap on where price is currently delivering from. So uh, we'll start out at the weekly time frame. <clears throat> so last week's weekly candle didn't end up really doing much. We just ended up in kind of more of a doji that didn't do anything as far as taking out the external ranges of the previous week. Um, <clears throat> so that's where we're at on the weekly. I don't really see anything to really go off of in terms of that. Um, <clears throat> I did mark out the previous weekly low, which is this low here. A little bit more obvious here on the daily chart just because it's a swing low inside of this daily imbalance. So I just have that marked out. We have a lot of relative equal highs up here that I think price could get up into uh, at the beginning part of the week. And really my bias for the week is going to still be the same as it was last week as I believe that the DXY is going to expand higher um, for this uh, internal range high. So this is, this is really my weekly objective for the dollar. And obviously it's NFP week. So really my plan is, this is my only objective trading wise for the most part, um, <clears throat> up until NFP. So meaning like if this objective gets hit, let's say by like Wednesday, well then I'm probably looking to sit on my hands Thursday and then trade post NFP. But that's just what I have marked out for, uh, for right now until we get more data. So um, that's really my, weekly thought process here from the DXY and on NQ here we have price obviously reacting from this is the the new week opening gap here this big volume imbalance and then we got all of these stacked relative equal highs this huge liquidity pool right here that I'd like to target the only opportunity that would have been possible to even catch this move would have been a turtle soup entry right at opening bell so um, basically right here opening bell candle on NQ right there, it put in a lower low here with S&P. So S&P took out that low, right at opening bell, and NQ did not, showing that manipulation. So uh, I wasn't on the charts at opening bell, um, <clears throat> but this would have been the only opportunity. There, there really wasn't even a, like this would have been a decent 2022 model if there was a pullback offered here, but that wasn't ever offered, at least not on a one minute chart or a 30 second chart, okay. So yeah, your only way to catch this move up would have been just <laughs> either buying right at open or seeing that turtle soup opportunity and then hopping in long once you got the reaction back up. So um, definitely nothing missed, but a big move nonetheless right at open. But it'd be nice if this news would be ever so kind to give us a pullback into some of this imbalance, right? This would be our five minute unicorn right here. We've got bullish breaker and obviously a big inefficiency here on the five minute. Uh, it's pretty volatile, it's a big stop loss. Stop would wanna be below the five minute fair value gap candle. Take it up to these highs. Still a decent risk reward, which is nice. So I am going to set a limit order here for now. Um, only going to do one contract because it's 35 points for a stop loss, but <clears throat> uh, we'll see. If these if these levels get traded through right away, then we're just going to delete this. But this would be the unicorn entry. Really, the main thing that's giving me confidence for this move up is just all of that liquidity up there. As I told you guys at the beginning of the call, this objective here on the daily and weekly chart is really the objective I wanted to see prior to... Just got triggered in, by the way. Uh, so, like, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be overly surprised if price were to dig lower one more time. We might experience a little drawdown and create SMT with these lows here. I mean, I hope not. If it just goes straight up, that'd be nice. But um, I don't think that'd be a crazy expectation to see price dig through these lows, create SMT with this structure. Risk-free, where do we want to go risk-free? Is 
we want to play it safe do equilibrium of the last displacement leg probably not a bad idea so I guess we'll do that guys I'm thinking um, and then if we end up getting stopped that break even I'd wait to see if there was a new opportunity after like this kind of that scenario we kind of talked about with ES playing out but yeah once we get to this blue line right here I'm gonna move my stop up to my entry and then see if we can get follow through the rest of the way <clears throat> so the reason I'm not removing risk yet is we didn't get we didn't get back to equilibrium of the last displacement leg close not quite <clears throat> traded right into a five minute bearish FVG now as well. What I would, I mean, because the other thing that I was debating on doing is just removing my risk now and then re entering after this run here on ES of all these lows. Obviously, Alex, you can do what you want. My thought process is just that if we do come lower again, it's going to be because ES is going to want to wipe this out and then form SMT. Uh, and if this just trades right through, Waiting for that, like waiting for that to happen on like ES and then coming back into the range would save you a loss. Like not just entering right away. But more so looking for kind of like a turtle soup type reaction. Um, which I hope doesn't happen, right? I mean, I hope price can get up here at least for me to go risk free. I don't want to just have this thing sell right through. Clearly, I'll take a loss if that happens, but that would be quite. A sad story, though, considering how close we got to equilibrium. We did hit a five-minute bearish gap, so I mean, we'll see here, guys. We'll see. We'll see if uh, going or not removing my risk was the right move or not. Because it it might work out where it would have been the right move. So one of two things: either we're going to soup this and finally move higher. <laughs> we're going to displace much lower, and this is going to be over in a hurry. You thought you were going to win, April Fools. You thought a higher time frame was going to overpower the lower time frame, April Fools. I'm going to journal down that... Um, I should have, I should have uh, removed my risk here. Once we once we tapped into the first PD array, I mean it was so that's that's just the shitty part. It was so fucking close to hitting that fifty percent. Game of ticks, literally. I think it was like one point away from hitting it. I'll let you guys know about the session tomorrow morning. All right, guys, enjoy your Monday. If you need anything, reach out. Have a good day, everybody. We'll talk soon.